it's Legal Beagle from Legal Beagle Panda Creations and I just wanted to show you a really quick video about how I've decided to store my punches in 2013. I don't have a lot of punches but I did get some Martha Stewart punches um, that I bought from HSN and I wanted to figure out a way to store them. The way my craft section of my home is set up is that it's on a bedroom wall and you can't just kind of have things kind of loose and kind of hanging out and so I wanted to find a better way so that it looked aesthetically pleasing to the eye since it's sitting on a, a tiered shelf on a bedroom wall and so this is what I've come up with some of you've done the same thing but this is just my way of doing it I went ahead and got some of these memory boxes from uh, the craft store you can buy them anywhere um, Walmart uh, Target Joann's, Michael's, AC Moore, a lot of different places sell these cardboard box or chipboard box memory boxes. So as you can see on the top, what I did was I took some repositionable tape and I tagged this down and I put what's inside this box. So you can see the double edge, the double craft, and the punch around, the corner punch and the punch around a page. Um, uh, the way it comes out and then on the inside of the box you can see the different punches laid out it's all one set I have a card that shows I took one of the memory box of cards and I put exactly the name of whatever it is inside the box on the punch itself in the mouth of the punch I put the name a little tag that tells you the name and on the front of the punch I put a little tag that tells you the name so I know what punch it is that I'm dealing with inside the box. Now these boxes sit on the shelf nice and neat and they don't get in the way. Yay! But because I don't get up going and peeking in boxes to see what's inside them or moving boxes off of each other to see what's inside of them, what I decided to do was this. I went ahead and I made, um, I cut some tags out from my Cricut and what I did was I made the punches from the punch. So this one tells you it's my seven gypsy knockout punches and it shows you the knockout punches that it came with and it's just on a rubber band. This may be a Fiskars 4-in-1 punch with some embossing edge, um, some border punches. And so I keep a little legend and for my punch around the page ones, you have it showing the punch around the page and then the individual punches that are inside. And this way, you can look at these tags, decide which one you want to use, go to the correct box, pull it out, and put it back in. And it just helps as a guide, one, to keep things neat, and two, that you'll have a visual aid while you're sitting at your desk deciding how you want to craft your project. That's my tip for storing your punches. Um, I hope that helps you decide how to reinvent your storage for small spaces. Thanks.